Hello guys! In this video series I'm going to show you something a bit more advanced than I usually do. I am going to be making this boat that you can see here. And this boat consists of quite a few different parts as you can see. So this will have to be divided up into several videos. In this first video we are going to make the hull. And then in the next video we will probably make the cabin and so on until we have all the pieces. And then there will be one last assembly video where I show you all the tips and tricks on how to assemble this boat. If we were to list them off, the boat consists out of exactly 10 pieces. First there's the hull, then there's the deck part, then the four walls for the cabin, the roof, the smokestack or chimney, and a circular bottom and end piece to the chimney or smokestack. So like I mentioned, today we are going to begin by making the hull. And that's the big grey part down here. But before we begin, we need to gather up some stuff that we need. We are going to be needing a pair of scissors to cut stuff, some kind of needle to fasten loose ends, a crochet hook, and I'm going to be using this 3.5 millimeter hook since it fits the arm. And last but not least, we're going to be needing some different color yarns. Now, this boat, as I made it here, is made up out of five colors. We have one gray for the cabin roof and the hull, a brownish gray for the deck, white for the cabin, black for the windows and the chimney or smokestack, and one color here for the line. But in this video, I will be using a slightly different color scheme. I will be using this darker green for the hull and the cabin roof, this lighter green for the cabin itself, this black for the cabin windows and the chimney or smokestack, and this grayish brown for the deck. Then there is the question about a red ring on the chimney or smokestack. I'm pretty sure I'm just going to make that with one of the green colors for now. So I'm just going to be using four in this video, but like I mentioned, the boat you saw consists out of five colors. So first out is the hull piece. So I grab this darker green. We start off with a slip knot. And now for row one, we are going to chain 15. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, and 15. Now for row 2 we are going to single crochet back along this piece. So what we do is we make one more chain and then I go through not the first but the second loop here from the hook and I make a single crochet. Then we continue with single crochet along the row of chains here for a row total of 15. That was three. This is four. This is five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Fourteen and the last one fifteen. That was row two. Now for row three, we are going to chain one, turn, and we're going to make seven single crochet. So one, two, 
three, four, five, six, and seven. Now that we have seven, we are going to put an increase in the next stitch. And the increase consists out of two single crochet in the same stitch. That's an increase. So now we should have seven stitches left on the row in which we're going to make seven single crochet. And the last one here. So here we go. If we count them now, we should have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Which is correct since we increased one in the middle. Now for row four, we are just going to single crochet across the whole piece. That's going to be sixteen single crochet. So that's two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and the last stitch here, 16. So there we go, that was row four. And this is row five, we start the same way, we chain one, we turn, and we go through the first stitch here, and make a single crochet. Now, once again, we are going to make seven single crochet, so that was the first, so we need six more. This is two, three, four, five, six and seven and now we are going to make two increases one after another so the first increase is in this stitch number eight so that's one increase and then we make a second one in here in stitch number nine that's two and now we should have seven stitches left so we go ahead and make seven single crochet that's one Two, three, four, five, six, and the seventh. There we go. That was row five. And row six is going to be really straightforward. We chain one, we turn. And we're going to single crochet across the whole piece for a row total of 18 stitches. That's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and the last stitch here, 18. Now you can see it start to bend here due to the increases. 
Now for row seven, this is gonna be another increase row. So we start by chain one, we turn, and we make a single crochet in the first stitch. And once again, we're gonna make six more single crochet. So seven single crochet on this side. That's three, four, five, six, and seven. Now we're gonna put an increase here in stitch number eight. But this time we are going to make single crochets in between the increase. So we're gonna go ahead and make two single crochet. And then we put another increase here. And we should have seven stitches left and that's just gonna be single crochet. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and a seventh. There we go, that was row seven. Now row eight is gonna be another one of those simple rows. You see, we chain once, we turn, and now we're gonna single crochet across the whole piece. And the row total should now be up to 20 single crochet. Both before and after this row, since it's just single crochet. And I lost count now, but I'm just gonna work through the whole piece or the whole row, and then we can count them once we reach the end to make sure it's 20 still. There we go, so let's do a quick count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. That's good, still 20. Now for row nine, it's gonna be an increase row. So we chain one, we turn, and we're gonna make seven single crochet. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now we make the increase. And this time we're gonna make four single crochet here before the next increase. So one, two, three, and four. Now an increase. And we make seven single crochet. This is two, three, four, five, six, and the seventh here. So there we go, that was row nine. Now for row 10, it's gonna be a simple row, no increases. We chain one, we turn, and we start making single crochet. And this time, the row total after and before this row should be 22.
reached the end of the row now. So let's do a quick count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. So that's 22, still good. So that was row 10. Now row 11 is going to be another one of those increase rows. So we chain one, we turn, and once again we're going to make seven single crochet. So that's two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And then we make the increase. With single crochet and this time we're going to make six single crochet after the increase so one two three four five and six and we put another increase and we should have seven left here to one Two, three, four, five, six, and seven single crochet. There we go. That was row 11. Now for row 12, it's going to be a simple row. Single crochet all the way. So we chain one, we turn, and we start making single crochet. One, two, and a three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and the 24th and last stitch, which means it's still correct since we made two increases since it was 22. So that was row 12. Now for row 13, this is going to be another increase row. So we chain one turn, and once again we're going to make seven single crochet here on this side. So it's two, I think. Yeah, two. Three, four, five, six, and a seventh. Then we make an increase. And now we're going to make eight single crochet. So one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, and eighth. And now we make the decrease. Uh, sorry, the increase, the second increase here. And then we should have seven single crochet left here. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. And seventh. So it was row 13. Now row 14 is another one of those simple rows. We're going to chain one, we're going to turn, and we're going to single crochet all the way across for a row total of 26. So two, three, four, Five, six, seven, 
8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, and 26 in the last stitch here. So there we go, that was row 14. And that's what we did here. Uh, one chain turn, 26 in a crochet on row 14. It's just going to be repeated now on row 15, 16, 17, blah, 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 all the way up to 30. So go ahead now and make, keep on making the same row. I'm just going to do this off camera because it's going to be very repetitive. Just make one chain turn, 26 in a crochet on all rows up and including row 30. And I will see you here in a little bit. So there we go, that was row 30, and your piece should look something like this by now. So now for row 31, we are going to start to decrease to get the same shape here on this side. So to start row 31, we are going to chain one, then we're going to turn. And now we're going to make seven single crochet. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And now we're going to decrease. And I do my decreases like this. There are several ways, but I do them like this. I go through the first stitch here, pick up, go through the second stitch, pick up, and now with three loops and a hook, I yarn over and pull through all three. Because that will create like a um, ungappy stitch right there. There we go. Now we go ahead and make eight single crochet. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And now we make a second decrease. Ah, same thing here. Go through, pick up, go through, pick up, with three loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through. And now we should have seven stitches left on the row. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and the seventh here and last stitch. There we go, that was row 31. Row 32 is gonna be a simple row. We're just gonna single crochet across the whole piece. So one, and this is gonna be a row total of 24. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and the last stitch here, 24. There we go. So that was row 32. Now for row 33, it's going to be another decrease row. So we chain one turn and we're going to make seven single crochet. 
That's two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Now we do another decrease. Same thing, go through two, pick up, and pull through all three loops. And now we're going to make six single crochet. So that was after the decrease, so that's one. This is two. Three, four, five, and six. Now we're going to make another decrease. So we are over, or sorry, we go through pickup, go through the next pickup, and pull through all three. There we go. So now we should have seven single crochet left here in a row. One, two, three four, five, six, and seven. There we go, that was row 33. Now for row 34, it's gonna be one of those simple rows. We chain one, we turn, and we're gonna single crochet across the whole piece for a row total of 22. It's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and this is 21, and the last stitch here, 22. There we go, so that was row 34. Row 35 is going to be another decrease row. So we chain one turn, and once again, we're going to make seven single crochet. So this is two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Now we make our decrease. Going through two, picking up, and then going through all three loops. And now we're going to make four single crochet. So one, two, three, and four. And then we make a second decrease. And we should now have seven stitches left here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and the seventh and last here. There we go, that was row 35. Now for row 36, it's going to be another simple row. We chain one, we turn, and we're going to single crochet across the whole piece here for a row total of 20. So this is three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. There we go. So it was row 36. 
for row 37, we're going to chain one, we're going to turn. And this is going to be another one of those decrease rows. So we're going to make seven single crochet. So that's two. Three. Four. Five. Six and the seventh. Now we're going to decrease. And now we're down to two single crochet here in the middle. So one, two, and then the second decrease. And now we should have seven left here. One, two, three, four, five, six, and the last one, seven here. There we go. So that was row 37. Row 38 It's going to be a simple row. We chain one, we turn, and we're going to single crochet across the whole piece for a row total of 18 single crochet. That's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, 17 and the last one 18 here. So that was row 38. Now row 39 is going to be a decrease row. So we chain one turn and we're going to single crochet in the first seven stitches here. This is three, four, five, six and the seventh and now we're gonna and now we're gonna decrease twice so we make our first one and then in the next two after that we make the second one and then we should have seven left here and that's gonna be single crochet two three four five, six, and the last one, seven here. There we go. That was row 39, row 40. It's going to be another one of those simple rows. We chain one, we turn, and we're going to single crochet all the way back. for a row total of 16. There we go, that was row 40. Now for row 41. This is gonna be our last decrease row. So we chain one, we turn, and we're gonna make seven single crochet. This is two, three, four, 
five, six, and the seventh. So now we make our decrease, and this time it's just going to be this one decrease, and we should have seven stitches left here in the row. So one, two, three, four. Five, six, and the last one here, seven. There we go. Now, row 42 is going to be the last row. This is going to be one of the simple single crochet all the way for a row total of 15. So that's one. This is two. This is three. And four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Fourteen and fifteen. Oh, and also we can end this on a chain just to lock it uh, when we cut it and pull it through. So that's the hull part. You see it here. It's going to be stitched in this end and this end, but we do that in the end because uh, we need openings to fill it with because uh, we're gonna need openings to fill it with like synthetic cotton or something and we can go right ahead and fasten these ends already because we are not going to be using these while stitching it together because we're gonna have more ends of this color up here in the vicinity so uh, that's the next step here So first we go ahead and cut off the yarn, just leaving enough to be able to fasten it. Next I pull it through here, through our chain. So now we have two ends here, and it doesn't really matter which side is going to be out, like facing out. But I checked on the other boat and I had this side as my outside. So these are going to be stitched together like this. So if we hold a piece like this with the start and end tail to the left, this is going to be facing out. So I turn it over and I'm going to fasten the ends on this side. So we thread a needle here. And I'm just going to start by pulling the chain in. And then I go through because we want to hold that that knot that the chain creates in here so that it doesn't show in the end. So I go through the top row here back and forth a few times and then I go straight down along the back side here through like one or two. I pull it down. And I don't pull this too tight, but we don't want this knot to be able to get loose. Something like that. And then I overlap somewhere here, like there. Go through a few more. And pull through. And then just to be sure, we can just go a few go a, through a few more here. Like so. Pull it in. Pull it, and we're going to cut it off. And we pull it a bit. There we go. That's the first one. And now we have the start chain down here. We're going to do roughly the same thing. 
going to start by pulling it in to the stitch, the knot, and then we are going to go back and forth here in the bottom row. Just a few times. And then we go over to the back side somewhere. And here on the back side, we do the same thing. We go through a few stitches here. Make sure that the tension is okay. And then I overlap the locket and I go through a few more stitches just to keep it down. There we go. And we can go ahead and cut this up too. So that's going to be our hull all finished. So that's going to conclude this part one of this video series. I will be back shortly with part two and then the rest is going to come as they come out. So until then stay tuned and feel free to subscribe and also if you liked the video please leave a like and if you have any questions please drop them in a comment below. So thank you so much for watching, I will see you in the next one, thank you, bye!